I've come for the goods. Oh shit, what's up Dustin? What's up guys? <laughs> Toys R Us for adults. Yeah. So. I'm freaking pumped. Thank you for hooking up as always. <laughs> Look at this. This place is unbelievable. If you need JDM parts, this is like, this is it. Thank you, sir. Parts required. Thank you, Joe. Yep. Welcome back to the Dream Type R build. Can you guys guess what we're doing today? We're breaking out the Jays Racing hat that was gotten at the actual Jays Racing in Osaka, Japan, because we have some really exciting mods to do today. Some stuff that we've been wanting to do for a very long time. Some stuff that you guys have been asking us for for a very long time. We have some Jays Racing Japan goodies that we're going to be installing on the car today with some other stuff. So let me show you guys what we got for today. This build is really cool because it's kind of like we went completely backwards from what we're used to doing. Tim and I were talking about this yesterday when we installed the HKS intercooler and the oil cooler, which you guys are gonna watch that video if you haven't seen it already. But we're always so used to just doing like lowering the car, doing wheels and kind of doing cosmetic stuff first when really we focused a lot on performance. We haven't even mowed the car or anything yet. We've just really focused on making this a great driving car for the track, but also for daily driving. So today we're gonna spice her up a little bit. I think these cars look great already as is. We're gonna throw some Japan sprinkles on her today and I'm super pumped. Like I keep telling you guys, I wanna build this car as my dream Type R. I want this to be Type R that I've always wanted and dreamed of building, and we're continuing that today. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. So let's come over to our Type R parts corner back here, and we have a few things. So we've already installed some of this stuff here, but we have this Jay's Racing box, this Jay's Racing box here, and last but not least, this very, very good Jay's Racing box right here. And last thing, one last thing, a piece from Greddy that will actually help us with some mods that we did yesterday, but you guys will see this towards the, the end. Probably the smallest mod that we're gonna do today, but something that is a necessity, especially if you're tracking your car every time you go to a track event, you need one of these. We have the Jay's Racing tow hook, a very, insignificant, but it's cool because it's a piece of the Jays Racing front end. And I told you guys when I was in Japan, if I got a Type R, I wanted to do as much Jays Racing stuff as we possibly could. And I literally got everything that we could find. Now with all this stuff, I have to give a big thank you as you guys saw at the beginning of the video to Art of Attack. Art of Attack is literally, if I could explain it, it would be a Toys R Us for JDM car enthusiasts. You go in there, there's a ton of really amazing JDM cars, but also when you go to the back, it's like you just look up at stacks and stacks and stacks of amazing Spoon, Jay's Racing, Varus, whatever JDM parts you can think of, they have it. They were actually able to source me all of this stuff, which I don't know how we get lucky, but these are like the final items for months and months. We didn't get lucky with the Jay's Racing exhaust, but we got lucky with all of this stuff. Uh, and we got the carbon stuff which we'll show you in just a minute. But first mod that we're gonna be doing is the Jays Racing to hook. This is super easy because it just connects to your bash bar right at the front of the car. We're gonna wait to do this because we have to cut our front grill in the front right there. So we'll do this in just a little bit, but let's continue the unboxing. We have the Jays Racing Carbon Fiber Front Grill. This comes in two different styles. You can either get the FRP Black or the Carbon. We got super, super lucky. They had one Carbon Grill in stock. This is actually all they had in stock. So what this does is you have zero airflow with this big freaking plastic piece right there going straight to the AC condenser. Then right behind that is the radiator. So this opens up the grill that look how much airflow, a massive, massive difference to allow airflow straight to your condenser and then going into your radiator, which is going to be so nice on the track, but also a really nice cosmetic upgrade. So it's got a two in one kind of thing here, functionality, but also it's going to look really freaking sick, especially with what we have going on after that. But we're going to save that mod uh, until the end of the video. So what we're going to go ahead and do is oop, install this guy, figure out where we got to cut for our new tow hook, as well as let me show you this, as well as this is actually a piece from Greddy. Now I'm going to say this it goes like this. I'm going to say this. I wasted a couple hundred bucks on this. You do not have to buy this. All they do is Dremel out these little vents right here. And if you want this for yourself, you can literally just take off your own vent and Dremel it out yourself. But I didn't know that. I thought it was gonna have some kind of like cool ducting or something, but this is the Greddy vent. And what's really cool if you come over here, you guys saw us do the oil cooler yesterday. You get to see the HKS peek out just a little bit. And we could even open this up a little bit more, but 
I think it's okay, but it really shows our HKS oil cooler and it allows some airflow straight from the bumper into the oil cooler, which is gonna be way nicer and worse overall to have a lot more cooling than we did with the car stock. So lots of functionality, lots of really cool cosmetics today. Let's get started. Tow hook is installed and this is Tim's ingenious way to mark in a ma hole, okay? mark the hole because <laughs> we do have to cut out our little plastic piece. So we're going to test up the front bumper and let's cut it out. See where the headlight's going to be? You can see where it is. It's sitting right here. Yeah, I can see. So it this needs to be cut out. I just went to the store, got some new blades for our Dremel because I didn't have any. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right here. Yeah, look at that, perfect. On the money. No, that's like literally perfect. Maybe just like shave it down a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. The tow hook is in. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting the OEM grill off so we can install the new Jay's grill. It's gonna be awesome. Just a bunch of miscellaneous screws and clips. Shouldn't be too bad. Easy enough, should we do a little comparison here? So we still have to get like the uh, end blade pieces on, but. Totally different. Big difference. That is nice. So you get some extras with the front grill. Right here. So this is actually the bracket for the Honda badge if we had the optional piece, which we unfortunately do not. And like this double-sided sticky tape stuff that'll go right on here to kind of close the little gap that they have up here. But I think the grill looks freaking phenomenal. That is sick. The whole front end of this car is about to completely change. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this stuff and then we can start drilling the grill in. Okay, nice. So now we can Looks like it fits pretty nice up here, yeah. It really does. Sweet. Okay, almost there, guys. We have a couple of tap screws that need to go in, but other than that, grill is almost done. Look at this massive opening that we have. Okay, these four are on. Okay. Get this grill. All right, guys, check her out. Jay's Racing front grill installed, and it looks absolutely sick. We also did the little gritty vent thing right here too to allow some airflow for the HKS oil cooler. Now I will say fitment right here is a little bit wonky, but I think once we bolt this into the car, it'll sit a little bit nicer. But the fitment bumper wise is really, really nice on the Jay's grill. And the carbon weave, very, very good. This is so sick, Tim. For the last and final part for today, probably the most exciting part, Let's do a little unboxing. Moment that we have all been waiting for. I haven't even looked at this front lip yet. Been packaged up for a while. Once again, Art of Attack coming in clutch. We freaking got the Jay's Racing front lip. The part that I wanted the most, we actually got. So let's take a look at it. Are those English instructions? Maybe. Dang, this thing is juicy. This is sick. Very nice carbon fiber. Jay's racing front lip. Last piece of the puzzle for today. Game plan. This is gonna be awesome. So, what we have to do here, obviously, I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but we have to take off the front bumper, or the front lip. I mean, pretty easy now that we have the under tray off. While I'm taking off this front lip, Tim is currently putting back on our entire under tray because that's really the easiest way to get this done. Um, and the front bumper, once all the plastics are off, is very, very easy to get off. We're gonna knock this off and we'll give you a little test between stock versus the J's. Should allow a little bit more air in too. Very, very nice. Front lip is off. 
guys have a quick comparison. Huh. Just, just a little more aggressive. A little? <laughs> that is insane. It's like three, four inches longer. It's gonna be sick. That's what she said. Huh. Test fitting the front bumper actually fits really, really flush but there is drilling required. So I'm gonna have to drill in a couple of holes uh, throughout the bumper here to obviously hold it on. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. But as you guys can see, very, very nice. A little sneak peek under here. Oof, that's aggressive. Keep going. Keep you needed to go, just pull. She is mounted, dude. This looks absolutely freaking crazy. That's not even on the car yet. Look at this. So sick. Oh, baby, that is freaking insane. That is, I love it. That looks oh my God. Quick, in a quick millisecond from the previous clip that you guys saw, I got, I got a little haircut, so that's why I look a little bit different. But what? That, this is a completely different car. The front end is insanely aggressive now and totally functional. Wow. Dream Type R is coming along. Am got the HKS peeking. Dude, look at this. Give me. Yeah, it's oh! Woo! That, tell me that isn't the meanest looking front end. Everything that I could have wanted. Right here. This is so damn sick. Oh, it's even better. Ah. <laughs> damn. Dude, the carbon just sets it off too. That's so nice. And it fits so well. That's sick. Dude, I just like this shot right here. That is crazy. Now, the cool thing about this, we pretty much have a complete Jay's front end. We have the front lip, we have the tow hook, we have the grill. The only thing we're missing is the hood, which is one of the hardest pieces to get. Also, you can get like little canard flat pieces, but I feel like it would just overpower the car currently. Full Jay's front end. We're almost there. We're getting there. It looks really, really good. I love it. Wow. Even the tow hook just adds so much character to the front end of the car too. 110% happy. But you know what we have to do? We gotta pull this car out of the shop because we have not driven it with the oil cooler or the intercooler. And I wanna do a couple of pulls on the street right here to make sure nothing blows off or anything like that. But either way, this thing came out freaking sick. Gotta be careful when we lower the car. You gotta be really careful. I need like a splitter to protect. But the thing about it is, it's not any lower than stock was. It's the same because like it, 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 I showed the clips underneath. It's exactly the same oh. as stock. So it's just very, it's quite that longer. So nice. We may maybe get like a splitter or something to protect it. Yeah. But let's do some pulls. Make sure nothing blows off. Oh, no, yeah. no leaks. Uh, don't be blowing shit off. Yeah.
so fucking awesome. Take a look at this, dude. It looks freaking amazing. A little dirty right now, some track scars, but... Yeah, but it needs to stay dirty because you're going to the track again. Literally so. tomorrow, tonight. <laughs> All right, another very successful day working on the Dream Attack Type R. Tim, dude. hell yeah, brother. Again. We are creating a sick car. It, this dude. thing is, it, you're making me want one, to be <laughs> honest with you. These things are awesome. New one's coming out soon, dude. So, you guys might think we're done. We're not done. But you guys will have to wait till the next video to check it out because we had a little bit more to do before she's officially ready for the track. And it's actually like, it's like an Easter egg in the Type R. It's a oh, yeah. secret mod, completely free, that your Type R has that you should probably do if you're going to the track. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Hope you guys are stoked about the new front end, but for today, we're done. Okay, wait, before I end, this is actually pretty cool. When we went to Jay's Racing in Osaka, Japan recently, I picked up a bunch of stuff, just like I showed you guys this morning, this hat. I picked up a bunch of stuff before I even had the Type R because I figured at some point I would get another one and I wanted to do a Jay's Racing Type R. So it's really cool. I got this sticker. I have a ton of stickers and badges from Jay's Racing that are up in like my collection in my room. This one I was saving to put on the Type R whenever I got one. And now we got one and we got a ton of Jay's Racing stuff on the car. So I figured we have HKS up here. Let's throw on the Jay's Racing. And then we also have an Art of Attack. Type R is coming along. What do you think, bud? You like the Type R? Just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you guys are enjoying all the Type R content. I am, as I keep saying, beyond stoked and how awesome this car is coming along. Every piece of the puzzle is really like aligning and coming together perfectly and I'm excited to show you the next video because we have, s good morning. Because we have something that I've been wanting, not necessarily that I need, but something that I've been wanting and I think you guys are gonna like it too. And we get to go test the car out of the track finally with all the new mods. So I like it because we're doing all these mods and then like instantly going to test them out on the track to see what we've done, put to use and see if it actually works, which is super, super cool. So we have some exciting things still coming in this week, which you guys will see very, very soon. So stay tuned for that and for all the other content that I have coming out because it's all very, very exciting. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are inching closer and closer to that 700k mark would be awesome if we could potentially hit that this year so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and tell everybody else too thank you guys for watching and i'll see all of you guys for the next video peace out